How's it, how's it? I thought today that we'd do something just a, a little bit different. It might be nice for you to get a bit of an idea about, you know, how things are going with the channel, what my ideas are looking forward and to answer some of your questions. The first question that <laughs> I'm gonna answer is one that a lot of people are like, okay, what's going on here? It's, it's how's it? What does how's it mean? Where does it come from? Well, quite simply, it is a South African slang term as an informal greeting for hello. How's it? So H-O-W-Z-I-T. For some reason, I say it twice, how's it, how's it? And, and I enjoy saying it. And so it's a nice way of being less hello and welcome to the channel and more just kind of, hey, we're gonna have a little chat and just a hang out. So that's what how's it means. It's how's it, how's it? When I started this channel back in oh, the end of November last year, it wasn't anything, sort of, I didn't have a grand plan or anything like that. It was simply, I wanted to create content that I was struggling to find on YouTube. You know, I was looking for photographers and I was looking for people talking about photography. And, you know, some of Ted Forbes' earlier videos were, were, were along those lines and as Sean Tucker's channel and, and a couple of other people, but there seemed to be a bit of a lack of stuff that w that I found really interesting. And I thought, well, do you know what? Let's give it a whirl. Let's, let's give it a go and, and just put some videos together and, and see what happens. And it was nothing more beyond that. Now, obviously, as we can see from the numbers with the channels, there is evidently a thirst for the sort of content that we're enjoying. This, this talking about photography with a capital P, you know, we're not looking at lenses and gear and, and stuff like that. We're discussing the, the ideas, the, the, the whys behind photography. And it's been extremely gratifying to see how responsive and how receptive you've been to, to what I'm creating here. One of the catch 22s about talking about the why of photography is that if you don't know what it is that you're looking for, you can't go and find it. So composition is a good, a good example. Composition is a fairly standard idea. You know, it's not, it's not groundbreaking, it's not a hidden thing. Most people are familiar with the, the phrase composition. So they can go and search for it. And, and you can sort of see that there are a number of videos, and I think Ted Forbes did one recently about composition, that, that's great. But what happens to the more esoteric things, you know, like visual language, about how to see things in photographs and stuff. If you don't know the phrases, you can't go and look for it. And, and also great photographers is another thing. You can't go look for people who you don't know. So what can we do to, to help this be discovered about these concepts to get some exposure and I'm not talking here just about my own channel I'm talking about all the channels so if we look at all the people who create content with a capital C about photography and I'm throwing in this thing of like using capitals quite a lot and and yeah whatever let's just go with it so what can we find how can we get these 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 videos to be seen by more people who enjoy it and who would benefit from it. Well, one of the things is that YouTube is about people finding views. YouTube wants to show videos to people that get views. And of course, within photography, most channels tend to make gear reviews, as lenses, how to do the latest thing in, in, in Lightroom or what have you. And they get lots of searches and views and, and what have you. And, and that's why people make them because they get views, because people watch it. And they go, well, if I, if I make a video about a famous photographer, or I make a video about, you know, so, uh, uh, some sort of concept in photography, then nobody ever watches it. And of course, that's not the point. So, so nobody ever makes it. But there are more and more people starting to create content. I mentioned Ted Forbes, I mentioned Sean Tucker. There are a number of channels. When you start scratching away, that you start finding them. And what we can do as photographers and people who enjoy this kind of content is to, to comment on those videos, to, to share them, to, to give a like, to subscribe to those channels. Because the more that we watch these channels, the more that we spend time watching all of the playlists and things that they put together and enjoying their content, the more YouTube goes, do you know what, I really like this. This seems to be what people want to watch. And it will start what's called surfacing these videos. 
both myself and obviously you know, there's always it's, it's going to be my videos hopefully but there are other people who are going to benefit and we're all going to benefit as a community because then people will start seeing oh this video got a lot of watch time i'll make another one and another one and another one before you know it, we're going to have a nice mix of you know, videos that talk about lenses and gear and stuff and that's good to know obviously a lens or a new camera is quite a, a weighty purchase and it's good to see people's reviews but it will also be good to see more and more videos created about the art of photography and this is what ultimately I, I, I would love to see more of you know even if you have your own ideas about making a channel if you have something to share with the world about the, the, the art of photography, then, then do it. The more that we all do this, the more that we support the channels that create this kind of content, then the more it's going to be surfaced within YouTube and the more that we can start in all benefiting from it. I'm very much a noob at YouTube. I, I've only been doing this since November and I'm learning as I go. So you may have noticed, especially if you look at some of the older videos, uh, my clothing wasn't fab, uh, my hair, although <laughs> I only had one haircut. Uh, I had my hair cut just before the beginning of the channel and it was only last week or two weeks ago that I finally had it cut. So a bit like, you know, so my hair's all over the place. The audio changes, the lighting sort of changes. And I, I've, I'm starting to find my stride and I'm feeling more comfortable about creating videos on, on a regular basis. And of course, one of these things that I felt more comfortable about doing is to sharing an opinion. And this is very much what I'd love to do with this channel is to just not give you prescribed ways of doing things, not telling you that you must do this or you must do that. So this is this is not what this is about. This is about sharing an opinion. And like opinions, we all have one. Well, you know the phrase, you know the word, <laughs> I'm sort of scratching it, but let's let's keep this this channel family friendly, right? That we all have opinions. And what I sit and talk about on my videos is is just that it's an opinion of my own. Now, it's great to see that there are a lot of people who share those opinions, and it's also great to see that there are people who, who disagree with some of those opinions. The recent video that I created about, um, you know, social media and Jacques Henry Lartigue, see, <laughs> without falling over it, is, has, has created some, not diversive discussions, but it has opened up a discussion, just a, a, a nice adult intelligent discussion. This is what I'd, I'd love to, to see on the channel is when I can say, well, this is one way of looking at it. This is how I sort of feel about it. And then other people can chip in and say, well, that's great, but have you considered this? And I think we would all be in a, a much better position if we all took a little moment to be less kind of like, oh, I'm right, I'm right. And just, you know, and, and engage in healthy debate. Because as, as the saying goes, you know, you never win an argument on the internet. The popularity of the channel has meant that a question has surfaced within my own mind about how much I can commit to, to the channel, to, sh to creating content to share with you, to help you on your own photographic journey. And, and it's something I've been mulling over for, for some time now. My studio has been closed for the majority of the last year, since last May, uh, March rather. Uh, and I think uh, off the top of my head, kind of maybe three months out of that period, it's actually been open. So it's, it's forced me to to question whether or not I want to remain there, taking pictures of other people's children and spending time with other people's families on a weekend, when I could be spending time with, with my own family. And of course, prior to creating this channel and, and before it seemed that there was a, a, a desire for the content I'm creating, I wasn't really, I was it seemed to have been stuck. But now that there's been this really heartwarming response to this community that we're starting to forge together, I've been thinking more about whether or not I can be a full-time YouTuber, for, for want of a better word. And, and I believe that the question is, the answer to that question is that, that yes, I, I can be. Now, I don't want to be one of these guys who starts doing gear reviews and, and stuff like that, because that's absolutely not what I'm looking to do. And, and I, I will, again, Scouts Honor tell you that I will never do a gear review on this channel and I will never be selling Lightroom presets and all that, that sort of stuff. But of course there is this idea that there needs to be some sort of financial benefit for me creating this content. And and I don't want to splatter all the, the videos with, with adverts. And I'm again, I'm learning 
what is a good balance uh, and some people have given me some great feedback and in an ideal world none of us would have any any adverts on on anything that we watch and but unfortunately this is kind of the, the nature of the beast if you'd like to support the channel i do have a buy me a coffee set up so that's basically a, a little link and it's in within every single video that i make this in the description box there is a little link you can go there and and make a donation it's like you know three pounds or three dollars rather and and it's just something to say look you know i appreciate what what you do and a lot of people have done that and i'm extremely grateful for doing that so if you'd like to show your appreciation things like that are fantastic and and they really go towards helping things like you know getting a new lapel mic and and a teleprompter i don't this this particular video isn't scripted necessarily which you may have picked up on uh, but a lot of my videos have some scripting so that i can you know actually say things that i would say properly without it becoming a, a, a weird ramble for three quarters of an hour <laughs> so all of these things th this financial support goes towards developing the channel it goes towards obviously supporting me to create these videos and and i, I really do appreciate it greatly going in hand in hand with that is that a lot of people have reached out and said look do i offer any sort of photographic training do you know do I offer a mentorship or can can i help them with with some things and, and I have done that in the past, and, 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 and I, I enjoy the, 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 the whole process of sharing information, which is why I enjoy creating the channel. And I've, I've got an idea in Embryo about trying to maybe replicate the, the experience of being at photo school, of learning both some technical aspects of photography, but also learning the aesthetic aspects that so often are sort of swept away and, and not really covered by a lot of sort of learn photography online places. It's very much in embryo still. And what I'd like to do is have sort of five or six of you to have a bit of discussion with who, you know, we can, I can sort of pitch some ideas and, and sort of say, this is what I'm sort of thinking and find out what would be helpful to, to people like yourself who may want to increase their awareness of photography and and that art of photography so if you are interested i'll put an email in the description box below so just send me an email and title it tpe interest and i'll have a little look to you and we'll, we'll have a bit of a round table sort of discussion or back and forth and and sort of see what I can come up with but it's an idea that you know, like i said it's an embryo but I'd, I'd be quite excited about doing something like that which would give us a chance to also go into a bit more in depth in, in some of the the, the, the the topics and the the concepts behind photography because obviously with YouTube it's a very limited time to create a video. You know, if anything more than 15 minutes or so and people's attention starts to wander. And and sometimes that means with a lot of the videos that I only get like a minute or two really to discuss a, a subject. And of course with a lot of concepts that's not even remotely long enough. So this is a way of sort of, you know, sort of putting all that together in a bit more of a deep dive, if you want to. I'm gonna answer another question that has been asked a lot on the channel. Is that where do I find my inspiration? And this ties neatly with the concept we were talking about earlier about not being able to find things unless you know what it is that you're looking for. Now, I'm fortunate in so much as I have always been a voracious reader from when I was very young. And, and of course I went to photo school and, and was given some direction to find books and what have you and aside from my monographs and downstairs i've got like about 150 monographs of, of various photographers and you can see there's a couple more on the on the shelves behind me i do like to read books uh, about photography and and i'd like to share a couple with you that we've got here so these there's a couple here that are uh well this is called ways of seeing by john berger uh this is Susan Sontag, of course, everybody sort of knows. Well, I say everybody, but if you don't, <laughs> you feel that you, you should, and you're like, oh, I'm silly for not knowing it. Susan Sontag was an intellectual who, uh, and that's just put you straight off, hasn't it? She was an intellectual. <laughs> um, she wrote a lot of essays about uh, photography, about you know how we interpret photography and how what it means to us. And, and certainly reading books like this, there are no pictures in it. It is simply dense text does so much for actually opening your eyes about how photography moves us. And that's of course, that's the, the key thing is the how. So John Berger, so that's, um, yes, understanding a photograph and uh, ways of seeing. There is on YouTube, there is a, um, actually there was a BBC documentary, not a documentary, a series 
about this and it's well worth looking it's not specifically about photography but it will certainly help open your eyes to uh, you know to how you how we interpret the world so those are kind of really good books uh, they're a bit more kind of like booky booky sort of reading um, oh and also um, Camera Lucinda or sorry not Camera Lucinda see I'm doing that again with the mispronunciation of things Camera Lucida uh, and that's by uh, Roland Barthes and French name word can't say uh, but anyway so that's also that that's a very interesting book about this concept uh, it was not specifically about this concept this concept when you walk around a gallery what causes you to stop and look at, at various photographs as various paintings and uh, yeah look at these. these these are really really good to read I'm just going to pop them down over there and then if you are a little bit more sort of academically inclined there are textbooks like this uh, that will really sort of you know go into quite in depth about photography and and what is sort of the more academic side you know so these are sort of textbooks that, that students would, would be reading and uh, so this one's called photography a critical introduction which again sounds like uh, sounds like a page turner <laughs> but if you are interested about being more in depth about photography these are the books that people read that give them more of an understanding about photography and they're well worth seeking out so i'm going to pop it down over here again there we go and and then hidden gems hidden gems that don't cost a fortune that nobody seems to have ever heard of and yet they were everywhere before the internet uh, and, and these are great so this is uh, there's a selection of um very short, yeah, they're quite thin, they're not huge books, called The Masters of Contemporary Photography. Now, these books are outstanding uh, as, as inspirations for discussing and finding out about photography. So, for example, this one here is Using the Mind's Eye to Create Photos for Collectors and Clients by Dwayne Michaels. Now, well, I will cover Dwayne Michaels in, in another video, but this is the whole thing. You look at this. And there's there is actual text. You know, they're talking about the 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 the, the, the photographs, discussing the hows and the whys and stuff. And these these books, which were published in uh, probably the 80s, I think. Uh, you know, so you can find these on YouTube, uh, not on YouTube, on on eBay, on Amazon, all these sort of places. They're great to find. They they and quite often they're quite cheap as well. I think the Dwayne Michaels one was probably wasn't much more than 10 quid. The, so here's one of Bert Stern. Uh, talk, uh, this one is um, uh, how to share action ideas through pictures. Again, that would be fantastic. There's the persuasive image, and there's one from Elliot Erwitt telling you all about the personal insights of a professional photographer. And there's a lot. There's one, and Annie Leibovitz one, and the Mary Allen Mark. There's there's so many, and as these kind of books that I find are really really helpful about opening doors to discovering new worlds in photography. And I would certainly highly recommend that you go on to, to eBay. I'll put some links of the, of the names of these all down in, in, the, um, in the comments section. So at least you've got books to start looking for. And if you go on Amazon, of course, you have the other people who looked at this board. That, that's a, a fantastic resource for discovering things and I haven't got a copy with me up here because unfortunately they're all downstairs but there's time life series of books uh, I think it's probably like about 20 volumes about photography that they released in, in I think probably the late 60s maybe early 70s but again if you're in the US so easy to find and I dare say that if you go to a Goodwill or you know some sort of uh, junk shop that there's probably a collection there I'm sure if you're in Florida that there is definitely some seeing as all of the, the junk in America goes to Florida to be put into flea markets. So, so that's, there we go. But that's where I find a lot of my inspiration, both about photography, but also ideas for, for the channel, for the videos. So I hope that I hope that's answered a, a couple of a couple of questions. I'm, and I'm gonna continue smacking this book to give little pops in the mic throughout the whole thing. Anyway, so thanks again. You know, it's been it's been so wonderful to have you guys as part of this channel, a part of this community that we, we that is growing up here. And and it, it, I, I keep saying it's wonderful 
to to get this feedback and, and it truly is and I really really even though I don't manage to always respond to all of the comments I absolutely appreciate so so very much the feedback the emails the the, the positive comments the, the 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 slightly negative feedback because it all helps grow the channel and and I really look forward to the rest of this year being as fantastic and and being able to share with you these wonderful videos so thanks ever so much and we'll see you again soon